So this is the opening poem called Boxes. Boxes are hoaxes of the imagination. They fold out backwards and proceed to foreclose themselves from the other side, as if to afford a view, a purview. Last night I stared into a box. I was like a box within a box, boxed in by a larger boxing. To establish the level of nesting is never possible. I can box my way out of a wet paper bag, but bags are no boxes. I couldn't bag my way into a dry paper box. <laughs> the plastic toy box that my daughter likes to play with at her nine months of age shines with a transparency no critic has yet dared to problematize. Clear rolls the red ball on the gray carpet. In the box of our spring, trespasses, ma trespassing magnolias in morganatic obsession bow to us. They linger in our miracle lens, white and white void of hope. Have you seen them? And lines by an atrobilious bastard, by a sky-flecked seascape that cause tears to flow and cheers to follow and wonder where the seagulls go and where the swallow and where the mast all packed into all packed away into boxes of memory. I open them and close them as I please, as if they were divine. As the cockles of my heart click with boxes of expectation, so the bottleneck of proclivity simply turns to the shoebox at the entrance, pulls at the right shoestrings. The flowers are still on the floor, and then all those boxes of books containers of knowledge in the basement. Why do we keep them? Boxes breathe peace. A blue box, a tar, pardon me, a blue fox in a black box is unknowable. You can tell I'm a little out of practice. <laughs> Kolkata flowers. Uh, Kolkata, or Kolkata now, as they say more recently in India, is, uh, is one of my favorite cities in the world. Um, uh, we go way back, so this one is called Kolkata flowers. The bard addressing with his weightless quill the human will in its futility observes the florist with bunched and garlanded conflorescences who supplies his goods to dozens of local cults and is quite the worshipful man himself. The sorry samsara swathed dusty sun re-emerges among the clouds and the micro monsoon wrung out of a nowhere pit by Indra's unknowable hand is over. Magic is the name of oblivion and the reed pen and flowers now are merely methods of forgetting even the unforgivable. For the continuous self must forget itself in time, where everything reduces to its opposite in the end, and the end is merely the other side of a fixed beginning. Here, the marigolds, in their January loveliness and buckets on the sidewalk, seem to know their fate. They silently belong to a caste. They are, on the wrong, the chantless end of sacrifice. But here, here in their flimsy presence, they seem reconciled to their root of migration. The sidewalk enshrines many-handed anonymity. This marigold was a poet long ago. <laughs> Taboo. Things you can't mention are the insects, leaves of any kind, of flora, moral, also, all the meta words like sense, trash, grandparent, non-referent, aberration, like electrocution of the invisible, broke ca cameraman, cataclysms of the earth, imagine being born into him or her. Oh, and of course, I've forgotten the snow, notion. These things trivialize everything, make you bang, make you crank out nothing. Two-bit sonnets on a tea afternoon, blokes laughing you in like, all those words are too regional, as well as other things you can't mention. Haven't done itsy bitsy rock sunset, Oldsmobile, have no complaint, experience, forget experience. The butterfly is a flying sandwich of pollen, the, typer, the typewriter a typing sandwich of lying, of trying to speak the truth in language. Snapdragons on the lawns display their leonine lawns. The mind's veranda is clear, 
with its garden of slats, two silken armchairs, two bitter sockets of hope, doily, what a flat woven pattern of what you can't recognize, can't mention, all these things are taboo in poetry. Uh, here's another Indian poem, also Kolkata based, in a somewhat different form. And it's called Das Praga. I guess I'll close with it. A raga, for those of you who might not know, I, I mean, everybody has heard Ravi Shankar, right? And, um, uh, raga is a form of classical Indian music, which is either it's performed by one instrument typically, which is the leading instrument, either a string instrument or some kind of. Uh, or the voice, um, and it's um, a meditative form, and basically theme and variations like like Western music. But it has this feature that it gradually speeds up. It starts the full rock is that starts out really slow sometimes, much slower than the Western ear is accustomed to, and then it doubles its rhythm at various points in the performance and ends up being, if it's a, an hour long rag, an hour and a half long rag, it can be, end up being very fast at the end. So there's this speeding up and this elevation of spirit that comes with it. And the rag is associated with various things, especially, you know, different parts of, uh, different times of the day and of the year and so on. So this one is a dusk rag. Um, and Kali Ghat, I'll just gloss this one too, is the main temple, Hindu temple of Kolkata, dedicated to Goddess Kali. Das Praga. Just as the lonely, wicked, wild and glad, eyes know and do not know, by letting drop in every detail of their daily dread, the flowering and rainfall and mishap of birth, as a benignness comes about the streets, well-lined eyelashes flutter by, like Kali's black, bewildering butterfly, and life is tantra to the marrow, but I do not know myself. The slow and fast, warm intersections swarm with liquid ease, melt away. The gods cannot undo the past, but I'll refrain from feigning expertise. Past bougainvilleas, samsara's saris float, lighter than magic in my tragic dreams. My heart has killed a goat at Kaligat. At nightfall, the world isn't what it seems. Vague auto rickshaws hooting out of sight and back. I pause to stare at life at these bedraggled corners in the red light night, but will refrain from feigning expertise. All day, eyes in their speaking sparkling millions find mine, but the dusk differences are less clear Voices more similar, dark darshans, finally over. No one can tell I'm near, the flower shop shut, my beady crushed, I hide in sultry shadows. The question of a star shines through the smog. These people understand I'm somewhere, but don't know exactly where. And I, I could not help them if they asked. The faster beats the heart, so fast, so fast. Thank you very much.